back it is concord food co-op time how are you splendid excellent why did it why did it get dark in here well they bring the uh they bring the shades, shades down, down for filming for the, the filming which is a good time to con- say you know concord. this airs on concord tv this thank program. you very much that's why thank we film okay. it every okay. week okay i just I, this is radio i'm used to daylight yeah. it's like what happened I in think. the sun's finally out so we like yeah, to yeah i know after four days yeah i know wow wow so what's shaking at the co-op for november besides well, turkey, turkey box. box. Oh, there you yep. go. Um, well, it's a switchover day um, for the rounded up at the register. Perfect. Okay. Um, the October recipient was uh, the community action program, Correct. and uh, rounded up at the register raised three thousand three hundred forty-seven oh, for awesome. uh, nice community that action program. That is awesome. Program for for just a few cents per purchase, you know. That's great. Absolutely. I and uh, so I think we're probably around 16, 17,000 so far uh, year, to, year to date. And we started in April. So yeah. uh, that, that's, that's, that program's doing well. And this month, it's Concord Coalition to End Homelessness is the perfect. recipient. Oh, perfect. So come on down to As the As the weather's uh, getting co-op, colder, that's perfect. Buy your turkey and round up for the Concord Coalition to End Homelessness. You know, I remember seeing a survey a few years ago um, that uh, talked about states and how generous they were in, in helping people. And New Hampshire was like 44th. It said they're stingy. And, and I remember thinking, you're nuts. New Hampshire people are very helpful. This, here you go. Perfect illustration. We may not sit there and knock on doors, but when it comes to writing a check, when it comes to helping neighbors, man, I think we're there. I, 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 I think, definitely agree. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, in, in my position at the Concord Food Co-op, I work a lot with the nonprofit community, and mm-hmm. I, there I, is a... Um, great base of support out there and financial support as well. And yep. people rise to help. All they the rise yeah, to absolutely. help. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad to see that. Yeah. So, um, turkey bucks are good through. Oh, you had it better than I. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Read, read yeah, for yeah, right. They're 20th. Can, softball. <laughs> softball <right? laughs> uh, you can collect stamps until the 19th, redeem in the 10 stamp increments between the 20th and the 27th. And again, Thanksgiving is late this year, so you got a little extra time. So, yeah. um, as far as ordering birds and stuff like that, that How quick do you have to get in? Uh, the cutoff is the uh, Friday before Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Um, we we order right, so extras, same. but then you're you're taking a, a chance a whether right. you will have a fresh bird and therefore you are not. So Our selection it. is now yep. um, because um, it, it, we... You, you can't control how big the birds grow or don't grow, right, So, right, right. Uh, but the best selection is now. Do you get stuck? Have you ever been stuck? Like, okay, we're going to order an extra 120, and like, you're stuck with 80? No, no. Okay. What happened last year, though, there was, uh, you know, the vast majority of birds are, are that people order are, are between 18 and 22 pounds. Right. Uh, they shipped us almost none of those last year. Oh. Um, and again, you're just, that's the way it is. Yeah. Um, but you, when someone comes in, it's like, well, you know, you're, you're going to get a, a smaller one or a bigger one. What do you, right, what right, do you right, want? Right. You want leftovers? Yeah, or, right, you know, right. So. Good point. All yeah. right. All so, right. But the best selection is ordering early. Leftovers so great. what are we chatting about today? I see you have two bright-eyed <laughs> bobbin guests in today. Well, it's the, the topic is immune health, but I'm not sure where it's going since Christine is an acupuncturist, and uh, I know very little about acupuncture. Um, oh, I'm well, hoping that this may Give alleviate. Give me a I'll show you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> immune yeah. health and and, and um, acupuncture and Tracy, of course, is going to. Uh, that's one of her specialties. She brought in some, I think, some moonshine to help. I was going to say she's drinking moonshine. This is elderberry. She's guys. drinking coffee. Oh, she's okay. drinking moonshine. Right. I have elderberry in my hibiscus tea right here. Hydration is also hibiscus important for tea? the immune system. Right. Yes. Uh, okay. It does look. Uh, just... I know it's a big glass container. Yeah, People no joke. Kidding. It's moonshine. Every how long does it take time. you to get that down? So my goal is to have this gone by noon and then have a second one in the afternoon. Wow. Two okay. of those puppies. <laughs> All right. So what what ha- what benefit is hibiscus to me? Ooh, well, hibiscus, A, it tastes fruity, so it gives it a little sweet flavor. Mm-hmm. And then nutrition-wise, it's good for your hormones, actually. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Oh, you should have that. There's, what, is, what? <laughs> what is wrong with my hormones? And how would you even know? <laughs> I heard you say it. I'm just say it. Okay. All right. Hibiscus wow. it is. <laughs> Tracy Kamara, uh, registered dietitian, passionate about helping clients adopt healthier lifestyles. Tracy runs her own practice, Fresh Roots Nutrition, LLC, seeing patients of all ages from prenatal nutrition to thyroid conditions to insulin resistance. And Dan was just talking about that. Yeah. Uh, for more information, you can call Tracy at 224-0549-0549 or email 
Tracy, T-R-A-C-I-K-O-M-O-R-E-K at gmail.com. Did I do that right? Except it's 244, not 224. Oh, I'm but sorry, 244. Yes. Okay, 244-0549. Nice. 244-0549. No, you got it repeated. And Kristen one. Hannigan, Mark with. <laughs> Kristen. Yes. Good morning. In the house. Good morning. How are you? Happy to be here. Board certified. <laughs> Board certified. Do you have to like take an exam when you stick the needles in? You do. Ooh. Well, you got to know what you're doing. You can't do it on the street corner. <laughs> right. You, you probably know? could. But well, yeah, Licensed yeah. acupuncturist <laughs> owns Trend Acupuncture located at 1 Pillsbury Street, Suite 204 in Concord. You can also find the office on Facebook, Instagram, and the website at trendacupuncture.com. So I know people who have gone for acupuncture, whether it's headaches or their neck pains or whatever. And I hear about it afterwards. And they're going, oh, yeah, they did one there, there, a couple in the arm, like, ooh, ooh, ouch. Ooh, right. No, no ouch? No ouch. So a lot of people think acupuncture hurts, and I think we equate an acupuncture needle to, say, going to your PCP for maybe a blood draw or a vaccine, and those are hollow gauge needles. These are super thin. I should have brought some. As thin as a strand of hair. Oh, yeah, we that would do it. <laughs> right, right could have one right for Put, me. Right, right yeah, but, 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 but I see the pictures of somebody laying down, and Peaceful. they got 17 needles sticking out of it. And I'm like, right. seriously? Yes, and this this helps. Now, how does, does but how does it help in so, the right place? In the exactly in the right areas. So acupuncture, we get to the root of the issue. That's important. We okay. want to treat the root of the problem. For most people, it's no, in, she's roots. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, we're we're a good duo okay, right okay, here. Yeah. <laughs> so, a little simpatico here. That's <laughs> yeah, good. Absolutely. So we have to get rid of inflammation. That's the key. Getting rid of inflammation in the body opens up to bring back blood flow and circulation which helps heal the body. So what are you hitting when the needle goes in? So there's different channels in Chinese medicine. So there's different areas in the body okay. that I'm that I'm treating. But, but, to but hone channels, in. what's a channel? Is that so a nerve? Is channels, that a blood flow? What, one, what is... So there's all 12 channels in Chinese medicine. 12, okay. okay. And they're around nerve pathways. Mm. So, so how does inserting a needle alter that pathway? So it... <laughs> Uh, Tracy and I talk about this all the time. Okay, all right. <laughs> so a lot of people say, for example, we may not see it. Your body holds on inflammation like a sponge, right? Mm-hmm. My job is I have to get rid of that. So there's specific points in the body that actually decrease inflammation and get the blood flow and circulation going. So you're doing what my PCP would give me drugs for? Similarly. I mean, we're a great team. But, you're, but okay, it, one to the exclusion of the other, or is it something that works in concert? Works all together. It harmoniously, does. yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. It should never be one or the other. Really? Really. Okay. And, and team, is this ongoing? For, for most people, is it ongoing treatment? Like if you go to a chiropractor, he wants right. you back in next week? Or yeah, it depends t- what's going on. So something chronic in nature, you should see a major change in your sy- symptoms between six to eight treatments. A, con- a chronic, defined chronic. What more we? than three months. So if you pain. come in with back okay. pain yeah. and okay. it's more than three months, you're coming to see me probably six to eight times before you see a major change. So it's... is this... Okay, I'll ask. Just ask. Oh, yeah, I will. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Is I've this, got I've heard them before. Is yeah. this, is this, I've this a lot. accepted medicine or is it still like witchcraft voodoo mm-hmm. stuff? I, I believe it's, it's getting to be more accepted okay. because some people are, are really tired because maybe they're not feeling well. Mm-hmm. Their pain isn't going away, so they're looking for other avenues. Um, there's a lot of. But do you really evidence. want to be everybody's last resort? I am. It's. Are it's, you really? I am. Most people come in; they've tried everything. I don't mm-hmm. want to be, but yeah. a large part of it is being here and educating patients and okay. getting the word out. I was going to say. So, how do come. you get to be everybody's last choice to everybody's second choice? Right. I think most or people first. don't right yeah. don't know about acupuncture. So, getting the word out, word of mouth is huge. There's a lot of evidence-based research that's really important so we post that on our website it's just getting the conversation going mm-hmm. all right so once i uh, and i'm sorry tracy that's... we will get to it i promise no you. worry you drink moonshine <laughs> you're fine i'll drink <laughs> my moonshine <laughs> this, at 8 30 so, so <laughs> what you got till noon girl get that down uh, so so once the needles and they're they're like they're about a half an inch or so. They're so small. Little yeah. Oh, they're small. Yeah, they're small. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So that's that called a dagger. The ones I see. But oh, you know, for you, for you, for you, maybe we get something yeah. like yeah, that. Yeah. The, uh, the ones you see, they're like rearview mirror ones. You know, they that's may like be larger yeah. than they seem. So yeah. this is where that education thing starts. Yeah, this is where education starts. You know, it's not technology. I'm not. 
fitting uh, it in. How long do you uh, how long do you have to leave it in? Twenty five to thirty minutes oh, is wow. ideal. Okay. So you can come in on a lunch break. Okay. That's awesome. So and kids can come too. Just yeah. throwing that out there. My children can go to acupuncture with Kristen. No, why? Why? Why a child? Ooh, why wouldn't? Why they? wouldn't? So one of my kids has <laughs> issues with with digestive health. Another one has issues with some anxiety and energy. And mm-hmm. we've been seeing Kristen for. I don't know. A couple years. A couple years. And my 11 year old um, asks to oh, go back. 11 year old? You awesome. still look yeah. like you're like 19, for God's oh, sake. Oh, aren't you sweet? <laughs> um, she noticed how much better her energy was after going to acupuncture, and she was afraid initially, but she asks to go back. So oh, it's good. for the whole family. It's not just adults, too. Yeah. Is, is the biggest objection to acupuncture just they, people figure you're going to hurt them? Does it hurt? It. Absolutely, yeah. a fear yeah. of needles. It and it and it's they're not exposed. They're not as exposed to it in, in in their life. They don't have friends going, "Oh, my acupuncturist." Right. You know, it's they just don't know. To us. They so just I don't know. And I talked to Chris, yeah. and she said, "Yeah, okay." Right. Yeah. So <laughs> I always get down to the money part because uh, you know medical treatment is so expensive. Yes. Um, is it, what is it? How do you charge? Is it per poke or is it per session? Or per poke. Oh, oh, nice, <laughs> nice. That's okay. Per, that's okay. Oh, what is that? He's using oh medical God. terminology. Wow. That's okay. I thought of. Okay, Chris, oh, I got twenty <laughs> bucks. Give me three bucks. Yes. Oh, oh, my and don't forget on Wednesdays, <laughs> and you make fun of Pat and I, Greg. Right. This and, is and, fun, and, and is I'm it happy covered? To be here. Is it is it covered under insurance? Is the most other. health insurances now are actually having acupuncture as a covered benefit, which is wonderful. That's awesome. I'm an out of network provider, but I do something called community acupuncture as well, which I offer, mm-hmm. which is a much more affordable, pocket friendly price for people. Yep. I want to make this as accessible and as affordable so people can try it. Mm-hmm. So it's thirty five dollars for a, a visit in my community room. So That's 30, great. Thirty five dollars mm-hmm. gets me. Whatever my problem is, uh, right. back, neck, headache, blah, blah, right. blah, blah, and it's imp- however many needles, and 25, 30 minutes. Right. And it's important to note this community model works because maybe you're coming in with back pain. I do not need to needle your back. So I needle points distally. I know. Crazy, mm. right? Yeah. But Away it's all connected. Pain. So all that's connected. Exactly. You're I'm, great. I'm, I'm on like this. I'm right on this. Thank I like, you. Yeah, and and I know I know <laughs> these words get abused. I, like, <laughs> I know these words get abused, mm-hmm. but... All natural. Yes. All natural. Mm-hmm. No, no right. you don't There's have to no worry medicine about you no needles. medicine. You don't exactly. have to worry about addiction. Right. You don't. I mean, it's a great thing. I'm right. sorry. Before your hormones get crazy. Oh my okay? goodness. We need to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna grab a straw and go over to Trace. Have some yeah. biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take a break. We'll be back with more right after this. <laughs> Conquered Food Co-op. 